decided or is a substance right the substance which contains large percentage of mineral so it helps us to extract the metal without any economical loss right so that substance only we treat as a or right so here in this one question asked right what is this question here simply it is asking about uh, ores and uh, minerals right here do you agree with the statement all ores are minerals but all minerals need not to be ores do you agree with the statement just use a quick reaction if you are agree all the ores are minerals but all the minerals need not to be ores right here simply what is ore here it contains minerals right contain minerals more percentage the difference is more percentage right so it helps us to separate them without any economical loss right then here what is mineral it is an element or the compound which is available in the soil right so whatever it may be that soil contains at least small percentage of uh, atoms or mineral uh, elements or compounds right so here this is said to be mineral but here the difference is ore right here sm not small percentage we need more percentage large percentage so that mineral present large in percentage that soil sub, uh, sample only considered to be o oh. so each sample of soil not considered to be o oh. but each sample of soil consist small amount of atom or maybe the mineral uh, sorry a compound or the elements whatever it may be you can call it as right so each not considered to be o oh here o oh is only with the large percentage so here contains mineral so ore is treated as mineral but not as ore mineral is not as ore do you got clarity are you clear about this one yes so depending on the percentage it is remains as mineral or it is consisting or considering as a ore that will be decided the next here in the activity one just you are observing a ores right observing the ores and uh, the metal present in each ore in the form of a mineral that you are uh, understanding here right so now look at that here in the table one they are given here so in this just you need to concentrate especially on the formula and the metal identification identifying the metal here right for example bauxite is given its formula is al2o3 and uh, 2h2o al2o3 2h2o so here according to our uh, third lesson in a solid number of water molecules present is called as water of molecule sorry water of uh, crystallization okay so need not to worry about this one but you need to write in the formula okay so here it is about water of crystallization there is no metal present in it if you observe al2o3 al2o3 so here it is the combination of aluminum and oxygen right aluminum available in the form of uh, oxide right aluminum oxide aluminum 
oxide. So the metal present in it is aluminum. The metal present in it is aluminum. So simply using this method, you are able to know the num uh, different types of uh, metals present in the given uh, formulas of the ores. Right? So here let us uh, find them. Here, copper iron uh, parates. Right? Copper iron parates. So here copper is the metal. Sir, why not iron? Why not iron? Here, depending on the percentage, depending on the percentage. So copper is in large percentage, iron is in a less percentage. So depending on the percentage of mineral present in the substance considered to be ore of that particular mineral only. So here copper is in large percentage. So that's why this copper iron pirates considered to be ore of uh, copper. So the metal is available from that is copper, right? So here iron also available, sir. Why not separating iron? Here, for getting less percentage of iron, you need to follow the all processes, procedures, right? So it is economically loss. To create or to manufacture less amount of iron, you are spending more amount and time. To complete that process. So that is here economically feasible. Right. So now here, zinc blend. In this, the metal is present is zinc, magnesium, magnesium, silver, manganese, iron, zinc, sodium, hydrogen, iron, lead. Here it is calcium. Calcium uh, here in this magnesium. Right. So these are the metals uh, available in these ore compounds. Right. So just you observed from the ores, you are able to extract a particular metal. So what which metal you are able to separate using different techniques or process, right? you are able to separate these uh, metals. So here, there is one more important point is there to learn in this, right? You need to know the formulas. Of uh, ores, objective bits. Objective bits, right? Suppose, uh, what is the formula of the Galena. So they will give you Galena formula. Right. They will ask you here simply four options PBS, HZS, ZNS. Right. Uh, one more. Uh, okay. Whatever it may be. None of them ever. So here, all are sulfides, all are sulfides only. If you remember logically, it is maybe sometimes correct or wrong because here the options are given all sulfide salts. Right? So just try to memorize them, remember them. Okay? So it is important. Right, main important, main important formulas to remember from this table are here, cornelite, limestone already you know, galena, gypsum already you know, from lesson number three. Okay, cinnabar, rock salt already you know, in uh, lesson number Three only. Uh, zinc blend. Hematite. Harm silver. Epsom salt. These are very, very important. Bauxite. These are very, very important. 
objective type uh, questions will be asked among these okay so how many are left copper iron pyrites ferrulosite then zincite only three left so better to concentrate on a complete table right so here there are few more chances right they can include from other lessons also right so here there are less chances to include you because uh, two chemistry lessons are removed activity based lessons right so concentrate on the table definitely maximum chances are there to get one mark from this table object to bit one mark okay so focus on this next here based on this uh, table 1 table 1 you need to fill the table here it is now try to classify them as shown in the table right so what they are actually asked in this table to fill oxides sulfides chlorides carbonates and sulfates for example i'll write you here oxide uh, mm, from this zinc oxide is there zincite is given it is it zincite right so sulfides there for example zns zinc sulfide chlorides are there uh, chloride uh, anything available with the zinc so with the zinc not available right so better to go for another it is nacl carbonates mgco3 sulfides is sulfide what is given here sulfate sorry magnesium sulfate is given any other no only one right so mg so4 7 h2o formula of uh, epsom salt maybe you got idea how to fill this table do you complete this do you complete this additionally late joined hmm. do you complete this complete it i'll uh, tell you you can consider that uh, formulas which are not given in the table also you can fill them suppose oxides are there here what you can write here in the oxides aluminium trioxide fe2o3 uh, fe3o4 right so you can include them also then in the sulfides hgs is there pbs is there hgs pbs right in oxides fe2o3 fe3o4 right any other mno2 is there ferrulosite like this so here chlorides agcl is there you can write mgcl2 right kcl mgcl2 with uh, six water molecules cornelite 6 h2o then chlorides in the chlorides you can include this uh, cornelite kcl mgcl2 repeated no problem right then one more any other chloride not there you can write any other also cacl2 for example mgcl2 right so carbonates zinc carbonate zn co3 cacl3 limestone is available right you can write any other okay then sulfates here sulfates one more sulfate salt is available that is calcium sulfate caso4 with uh, two water molecules water of crystallization right so you can add here in the blanks the salts which are available in these forms 
sulfates, carbonates, etc. You can elaborate this information also. Right? So now, just give me your response. Is it clear? How to fill the table based on the table one or something you got idea about the chemical salts in a lesson number three. So by that also you are able to write here. Do you got idea? Give me your quick response. Yes. Only one. Okay. Right now, I'll clear this information. Now here, questions are there to answer. Just look at this one. What metals can we get from the ores mentioned in the table? So already we are written water, aluminum, copper, zinc, magnesium, argentinum, manganese, iron, calcium, lead, sodium. Right? So like this, we are able to get the metals. Right? So now here the important task is given to you. That is arranging. Right? Arrange that available metals in the increasing order of their reactivity. Increasing order of their reactivity. Can you arrange them? Can you arrange them? What is that uh, actually reactivity? Reactivity is nothing. Just it is combining with the other, right? So combining combination is what something reaction. So the rate of reaction, how fastly they are participating in the reactions or with how many they are combining other elements with how many elements they are able to combine. So here simply if you observe the table one, if you observe the table one, according to table one, right, the element which is available in a more number of forms, different uh, compositions they are given, more forms. For example, observe table one. So I will show you on the screen. Just look at this one. How many times that magnesium is repeated? See them. It is manganese salt. Right? Here, simply, magnesium is available. Right? Here, here, then also here. See the salts. It is available in the form of carbonate. It is available in the form of sulfate. It is also available in the form of chloride. Can you find any other in the table? No. Now, I'll give you other forms also. Look at, suppose magnesium oxide, MgO, also available in the form of uh, oxide. Right? So here, like this, you are able to find many sulfide form also possible, Mg, S, right? So many forms you are able to write here. Like this, like this, here, any other available, for example, if I ask you about hydrogen, how many different forms you are able to write that you need to find out? Okay, so here, particularly some of the metals are available. Some of the metals are available. Sorry. Just a second, I'll close this. It is not supporting me.
this. I'm back. So here, in this, you are able to find out the metal which is available in more number of uh, forms, different forms, right? So why that particular element is available in more number of uh, compounds or in a uh, different uh, forms, right? So they are available due to their reactivity. Reactivity is what simply combining capacity, like your valency. So it is able to form the different uh, substances by combining with different types of elements. For example, I am given you magnesium. So you can find out about zinc, you can find out about calcium, you can find out about uh, other silver, aluminum, copper, many metals are available. So take them, right? In different forms, they are available in uh, salts. Right? So find out them. Right? Then realize which is available in more number of forms. So that is more reactive. So more reactive elements you are able to find out. After that, you are able to write in the decreasing order of their reactivity. Right? So they are arranged from more reactive to least reactive, right? So arranging the elements or metals in the decreasing order of their reactivity called a reactivity series. Reactivity series, right? So that reactivity series you are now finding with the available metals. So here, how to arrange the metals that available elements in the reactivity series, right? So here, what do you notice in the table two? In the table two, just we noticed that which are available in different forms. Only one metal special, for example, uh, magnesium written. You can take calcium, suppose calcium available in the carbonate form. CaCO3, calcium available in a chloride form, calcium available in an oxide form, right? Uh, calcium available in a sulfate form. Like this, you are able to write down, right? In different uh, forms. So here, is it a, 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 what a, somewhat more reactive or not? So like this, you can elaborate number of uh, compounds formed by the calcium, right, combining with them. So that which are available in a more number of forms, they are called as here highly reactive. They are called as here highly reactive. If they are available in different forms, but less, right, they are called here moderate reactive. Just very few compounds are given by them very few, less in number. They are called here least reactive. For example, in a eighth class uh, metals and non-metals, we learned about uh, ornament metals. Why only that uh, silver, platinum, gold are used as, are used in making of ornaments because they are very less reactive, right? So, it will take more time to tarnish the change in its color, right? Tarnishing of a uh, silver, black color, or a uh, copper is there to change its uh, color. It will take more time comparing with the iron, right? So like this, we are observing its uh, chemical properties, then arranging them in the decreasing order of uh, their reactivity with other elements that combining capacity only reactivity means, right? So that arranging in the decreasing order, right? Decreasing order of their reactivity, right? That is called only here reactivity series. So that series here started with potassium, started with potassium and ends with the gold least reactive metal. So arranging them like this in this order. So 
So this is called a reactivity series, especially in the metallurgy. They are given here as three series, highly reactive, right? Highly reactive, moderate reactive, and uh, least reactive, right? So compulsory, you need to remember that that series I am giving you with the numbers or codes, right? For easy memorization, right? For your easy memory, I am starting with 19, left gap 20, then this gap is filled by 11, and the remaining elements I am writing with the numbers 12 and 30. So now write the symbols of those elements, right? So atomic numbers are written by me. Here 19 is potassium, 20 is calcium, then 11 is sodium, next 12 is magnesium and 13 is aluminum. So these metals come in this highly reactive series, right? These are said to be highly reactive metals. They never found in its free state. They never found in free state. Compulsory, they can combine. 100% you are able to get these any metal in the form or in the combined form. Ice chloride, sulfide, carbonate, sulfates, oxides, anything. Right? The next we'll go for moderate. So here simply I can remember this series zinc and copper in between them iron and lead is available right iron and lead is available so this iron lead ice i'm calling ice for my memory only iron leg so for funny we can say this iron leg right so i'm using this code only to remember it is located in between zinc and copper zinc copper in the middle iron leg right Iron leg is located between zinc and copper. So I am able to write the core elements names with that code. Zinc copper in between them, iron leg is there. So iron and lead. So like this, I can write the code moderate easily. So they are available in few forms, especially here, oxide form, sulfide form or carbonate form. So these metals are available in these states oxide state or sulfide states or carbonates the next we will go for least reactive so that also i am able to remember right it starts with hydrogen right rest of them in the increasing order of ornament uh, metals cost increasing order right their price increases so lowest price is only silver the next uh, platinum now costly metal for us is gold so in this way i can remember this series started with hydrogen and the rest of the elements rest of the metals fall in this in the increasing order of their price especially ornamental metals right so like this i can remember so i never forget that to write any time are you clear about this series? How to remember? And what is reactivity series? Right? How do you arrange the elements in the reactivity series? Also important. So you got clarity, clear information about reactivity series and how to remember that reactivity series. Yes. So already, we have discussed about this reactivity series in your uh, ninth class, especially in the chapter uh, atoms of molecules and uh, chemical reactions. Atoms, molecules, and the uh, chemical reaction chapter, especially in a displacement reaction. There we will discuss about this reactivity series. Right? I don't know how many of you have idea about this one. Whatever it may be, you can use this displacement reaction. Sorry, 
use the reactivity series to understand about the displacement reaction. You will get again in your intermediate level, right? So keep it in mind. It will be easy for you with this uh, logical uh, course. So remember these reactivity series. So based on reactivity, we can arrange metal in increasing order of their reactivity. Sorry, decreasing order, right? Descending order, right? So they are arranged in the descending order of their reactivity. So decreasing order, descending order means decreasing order. So higher order to lower order. Okay, high to low. This arrangement is called here reactivity series. Right? So focus on the reactivity series. Now, few questions are there based on that. Can you think how do we get these metals from their ores? Simply, we need to follow many chemical processes and physical process, right? That method of separation of a metal from its ore is called a metallurgy, extraction of metals, right? So does the reactivity of a metal, right? So this reactivity is helpful to you in a extracting the metals, they are available in the oxide form, sulfide form, chloride forms, carbonate forms, right? Sulfates and some also not mentioned in this. So these are helpful in extraction method. Yes. So here, based on the different forms, you are able to per perform different chemical reactions here. So by these reactions, you are able to change its formation. Right, change its uh, formation. Then finally, you are able to use that uh, reduction oxidation process to extract the metals. So reducing them. Right. So mainly, this extraction of uh, metals involved uh, by three stages. It is involved by three stages. Right. They are here simply concentration or dressing of the ore concentration or dressing of the ore. First one is concentration or dressing of the ore, right? Then the second one is here, the stage involved in its, here simply extraction, separating, reducing the impurities, okay, extracted. Then after that, here, after extracting it, you need to purify it. We can call it as purification process. So these are the three methods available. So we will discuss about a concentration or dressing of the ore. Join immediately using the same method. I'm closing this one. Join immediately.